In the early hours of Tuesday, the Israeli parliament voted to roll back the ban on return to a number of former settlements in the northern West Bank. Alongside Israel's pullout from Gaza in 2005, the government back then ordered the evacuation of four settlements, Chomesh, Ganim, Kadim and Sanur. Now, in a 31 to 18 vote, Israel's new right-wing government has passed the third and final reading of a bill that would allow settlers to return there. This night is exciting because we are starting a historical correction here. Thanks to the pioneers of Homish, the heroes who have held on to the place with dedication for years, the Knesset of Israel and our coalition begin tonight to erase the disgrace of deportation and the number of laws that promote the regularization of the yeshiva in Homish. The religious Zionism and Jewish power parties ran in the elections, focusing on expanding settlements. The law, however, also received support from opposition politicians, such as National Unity's Gideon Saar and Zev Elkin. Others fear that it will pass the way for further steps to legalize settlements and trigger violence. The Knesset approved the law to cancel the secession in the Northern West Bank, a law that advances us another step towards a binational reality, pre-annexation law a law that will lead to the establishment of additional illegal outposts, a law that will increase the violent and bloody friction between Israelis and Palestinians, a law that will stretch the capabilities of the IDF and the territories even further. The site of Chomesh has seen efforts to re-establish a yeshiva that had been located there since 2005. But the Israeli High Court ruled that it had been built on private Palestinian land. The head of the IDF Central Command will still need to sign a military order that would allow Israelis to return to those former settlements. The passing of this legislation is seen as a major success for the settlement movement and a blow to the efforts to lower the spiking tensions with the Palestinians.